A poem by Dylan Thomas, and death shall have no dominion. Dead men naked, they shall be one with the man in the wind and the west moon, when their bones are picked clean and the clean bones gone, they shall have stars at elbow and foot, though they sink through the sea, they shall rise again, though lovers be lost love shall not, and death shall have no dominion. End of poem. Prologue to Solitary Man by Henry Hicks. Douglas Bridgecrest was what we would refer to as being a common man. He wasn't college educated, but was a tradesman for the latter part of his life. Now a man in his late 80s, he had seen better days. His wife died 20 years ago, and they had spawned three kids, none of which he had seen in 20 years. Tomorrow is Douglas' 89th birthday. He was on 15 daily medications, which he had stopped taking weeks ago, most of which kept him foggy and exhausted. As the meds began to fade, he had become more aware of his surroundings. Douglas lived in a New York apartment overlooking Central Park. He had large beautiful windows that until today, he kept closed and covered by dark brown old dusty curtains from the 80s. He sprang from his sofa and ripped the curtains from each window. The light from the sun hurt his eyes. Those old eyes that haven't seen day or night in four years. He never left his apartment. Everything was ordered online, even his dinners and groceries. End of prologue. Solitary Man is a story about a man living in the last days of his natural life. Reflection, fear, loneliness, and pain of time lost is the essence of the story. Thanks for listening to the prologue. Please listen to the full story on my YouTube channel Audible Shorts Henry Hicks. Please sub and hit the notification button.